Larson and Michael Knight. You look good. Oh, yeah? This old uh, rag? Yeah. You like it, huh? Nice. Are you kidding? Uh, this is what I always wear to with Times Square in the middle of the afternoon, doesn't everybody? <laughs> Looks that way. Yeah. Our first Emmy today goes to the outstanding supporting actress in a daytime drama. Only in daytime can you find the range of actresses assembled in this category. And only in daytime can you believe the array of emotions and events their characters must endure. And only in daytime can you believe that I play his mother. <laughs> <laughs> Here are the nominees. <laughs> you can believe in me and we can make it. Shut up! Don't you understand? It disgusts me to know that I am capable of loving someone like you. You don't have a soul. I clung to that one moment of goodness that you had with Stuart. I lied to myself. It was a lie. Don't! All right, don't touch me. You, just, you make me feel dirty. Your son was your obsession, and I guess that you were mine, but no more. No more. Brooke. Just get out Brooke, of my room. Minute, no. Just get out! No, I'm not... Get out! I mean it! From all my children, Julia Barr. So, why did you take Mara? I went to the house. I was knocking. Nobody answered. She was... She... She was running around, she was panicking. What was I supposed to do? You broke the pane on the door, right? The glass? Yes, Josh, I had to. The door was locked. Reva, nobody was home. I, I, I couldn't figure out why you'd left her alone. From Guiding Light, Michelle Forbes. And... Last. But of course not least a lovely little number for those quiet intimate nights at home with the woman you love perhaps by um, a hot roaring fire from general hospital lynn herring <laughs> You stay away from me, Jill, I promise you. You promise you will... me what, David? What are you going to do, rough me up, tough guy? You're going to shoot me, huh? You're pushing me, Jill. Yes, I am. Look, Nina loves me. She'd never listen to anything you have to oh, say. Oh, she will this time. Because I am her son's grandmother. You've forgotten that? There's somebody I care about more than myself. And I will stop at nothing to protect him from you. So, you're out of Nina's life. And you're out of the baby's life. You got that? You're gone. You're history. Now you get on that plane, or by God, I'll make you wish you had. Jess Walton. Well, that was very rude of you, grabbing the phone out of my hands like that. Just shut up! Now give me the bonds. No, no, I won't give you them. What would you be doing with Catherine's bonds anyway? And what's in that little bottle you're holding? Give me the damn bonds. What in the world's gotten into you? You... Jimmy, you're not yourself at all. I told you to shut up. Darling, I, I, I was just uh, worried about you. From General Hospital, Mary Jo Catlett. <laughs> and the winner is, from all my children, Julia Bond. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, this is, this is really an honor. I can't tell you. Um, but I have to say that a more accurate description of it is that it's the icing on the cake for me. Because um, for the last 14 years, I have had the privilege and honor of working with a talented 
generous, creative group of people, and I could not have asked for more. And <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> I just want to thank you, all my children. I really do. And also because life is not a soap opera, thank God, um, I want to thank my husband, Richie. And if my sweet daughter Allison is watching, yes, Mom won the Enemy Award. <laughs> <laughs>